everyone welcome to this sims 3 house renovation video so this house is called prairie smile and it is the next house in the sims 3's library or bin uh, like it's a house that came with the base game and was not placed in sunset valley and i've been renovating these houses so this house has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms and this is the living room here's the kitchen um, we're just kind of getting a look here at what the house looked like originally before my renovation and this is kind of a craftsman style home and actually i was i'm fairly familiar with all of the houses that are in the library um you know since i've been playing sims 3 for so long i have like placed down most of them but this one i actually was not familiar with um, so now we're gonna get right into the renovation here um, And yeah, so this house actually I don't I don't know Maybe I have placed it down before but I feel like I haven't so I really had like no recollection of this house at all um, But yeah, so it's more of like a craftsman style house um, I thought the outside colors were pretty horrible to begin with you can see it's kind of like this I don't even know it's like this yellowish it's kind of a putrid color that they made the siding and then you also have the red roof which i don't think really helps with any of that so yeah um but this house started out with three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms and in the end it remains three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms i actually did not expand this house at all in any way no expansion whatsoever all the exterior walls remain in the same place um, i added a back porch and you know that's really it so the layout does change a little bit um the living room was originally very massive as you probably saw in the beginning shot um, at the beginning of the video it was like um it goes like from the front to the back it's like very huge so i ended up splitting that into a study and a living room and then um yeah that was it really i kind of moved the half bathroom around on the first floor and that was really it. Upstairs is a few small changes. I think I make the primary bathroom larger and the hallway bathroom a little smaller and I add some closets to the bedrooms, but yeah. Um, anyway, you can see here, I just um, changed out the staircase and here I'm adding the walls in. So the living room um, is a little bit smaller, I think more an appropriate size. And then here I change this powder room to be um, kind of in this little area there, as you can see, uh, I made that two by two room for it and I moved the back door over. So this way there's like a little, um, like back area, like, like a, what do you call it, mud room area. And so this way you can get from the living room to the kitchen directly without having to go back through the entrance way and then through the dining room and then into the kitchen, which I thought was kind of a weird layout. So this way there's a washer dryer in this like little mud room area. There's a way to get from the living room to the kitchen and then the powder room is there as well. So that was a little reshuffling there. Um, and yeah, so the entrance way got a bit bigger and the uh, house got a study, so that's nice. And then the bedroom, uh, sorry, the living room is um, a little smaller now. Anyway, now um, we're moving to the second floor where originally there was these stairs that went up to this like little cupola room on the third floor. And those stairs went from the bedroom, like one of the kids' bedrooms. It was very weird. So I changed it out to be a spiral staircase from the hallway. So that bedroom had to get smaller, but it's still a decent size. And when I added a closet to the primary bathroom, it made it kind of smaller. So I just took that space from the hallway bathroom. So I shifted those walls over a little bit. And so while there are, you know, a decent amount of layout changes in the house, um, it's still like, it's still the same size, still three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, you know, just uh, in my opinion, a better layout and um, you gain a study. So that's cool. Anyway, you can see here, I'm just adjusting that bay window just because um, I moved the wall on the inside. So the bay window was off centered in the living room. So I wanted to fix that. And here I'm just adding a closet there to that bedroom and putting in different doors. I didn't like the doors that were in the house originally. They all had like knockers, like metal knockers on them, which is like, that's like an outside door. It was kind of strange that it was used for the inside. Um, the house had a carport originally, so I kept the carport. I just um, removed the solid wall on the side and just made it columns instead. And I kept the solid wall on the back, but I, I, I wanted to make it look a bit more open so we didn't have as many giant flat walls. Um, and yeah, so now I'm going to do some windows and stuff. Um, the house has all base game windows. There's one sliding door from pets, but otherwise all the windows and doors are base game. You can see I kind of used the classic, um, craftsman style windows. So just getting those around the house and, um, there's actually was no front window on that left side before. So now there's one. So that's nice. 
And you also may have noticed I changed the roof color so it's still red, but it's not like the Spanish tile roof, which I feel like didn't make sense on this house. And now it's like a normal shingle roof. It's like a, it's a different shade of red, but it's still red. So I thought that would be somewhat fitting. Um, and yeah, here I just kind of made that little back um, step or the, or the little walkway into the carport smaller. I thought it was a little too big. But anyway, here, oh yeah, I had to move the stairs as well because the parking spot wouldn't fit in the carport with the stairs there. There's the sliding glass door. That one is from Pets, but it's the only one that really matches the windows. And yeah, also this house is placed in a much larger lot than like it was made on, I guess. Like most of these houses were made on 20 by 30 lots. Um, there's a very few exceptions, like Miramontes was an exception and so was um, Unfurled. I believe those were 30 by 40. But yeah, most of them, like I think all of them except for those two are on 20 by 30 lots. And so since I place this on a 40 by 40, you have a lot more space around the house. So it's a much more of a front yard. And as you can see where the front walkway is right now is like only two tiles. I guess that was like where the street was. If it was, that's where the street would be if it was a 20 by 30 lot. So this way is actually like a proper front yard, a nice front walkway and all that kind of stuff. Um, I put a little wall across the front yard too. So I thought, I don't know, be a nice little separation there from the street. But yeah, getting in a few trees. I know it's a little early for that, but I just like to do that. And right now, I am going to recolor some windows and doors. Um, unfortunately, I don't like the colors that I pick for all the windows and doors and siding. So I do change it, but you know, that's okay. I was trying to keep it like close to the original because the original was this kind of yellowish color, which I didn't like, but I wanted to kind of keep the spirit of that. And after I did like all the colors, I was like, mm, it still looks too yellow. And so I didn't like it. So I ended up changing it all to be a little bit more of like a warmer tone, like a bit more reddish. Um, so you'll see that kind of happen. But right now I'm recoloring all the columns, which I will, of course, get to recolor again. That's the back porch I added on right there. So um, there really was no back porch or anything at all before. It was just like a door with some stairs. So that's like a little bit better, I think, in terms of usable outdoor space. And the back of the house really needed that because it's one giant flat wall, which in the end of the video, in the screenshots, I have some before and after screenshots, you'll see the original back of the house was just a huge flat wall. And it still is, but that porch, and also I add a, another like little door um, from the carport to the backyard as well, with like a little roof over it. That, just those two little things help a lot, make the house look not so, um, not so flat. So anyway, the, these are the little windows in that little like top room. So I just was recoloring those and adding some different flooring under the roof and all that kind of stuff. And oh yeah, I changed out that fence with a half wall because it looked better in my opinion. Anyway, right now we're going to do the siding. So I think, no, I don't, yeah, okay. It's something like that. That's what I, I choose, which as you can see, is a big improvement over the um, original yellow, which I thought was kind of a putrid color. Um, but I guess I just wasn't satisfied with it. So I do, ch I do change it very subtly. Um, so you'll get the joy of seeing that happen later on. But um, th yeah, already though, that is a huge improvement <laughs> over the yellow. And yeah, I just had a little roof there for the chimney, which um, oh, yeah, there was a fireplace there. I just changed it out with um, the one from Supernatural because I like the brick on that chimney better. So that's what I did there because I, I don't like the red brick chimneys. It would be really nice if the Sims 3 let you use Critostyle on the chimneys so you didn't have to like build a whole like fake chimney using walls to like enclose the real one because it looks bad. So if I, I wish they had added that, but that's fine. Um, anyway, now we're kind of moving to the inside a little bit. I'm not sure though um, when I redo the outside colors because it's probably going to happen pretty soon. But we got some flooring in the entranceway, which I'm going to recolor. Um, and there's some deck material, which I think actually might stay the same. So I was recoloring that and the stairs um, around the house. And oh, more stairs and a little trash can going in over there in the carport, getting some more trees in. I just like to have the trees. I don't know. It just makes the house look like it's coming along better. Anyway, we just get to now watch me redo um, what I just did. So yeah, I'm recoloring all the windows and doors. So I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it is slightly warmer of a color. It's a little bit yeah, less um, yellowish because I just wasn't a huge fan of that. So I am recoloring all of it. So, you know, don't mind me. It's something that happens from time to time where I just recolor everything and then 
change my mind on it. So yeah, doing all the columns, the fences, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully I don't notice that I miss anything because then I would have to go back and fix it. So, um, but so far it looks like I'm getting all of it. So getting all the columns here. Um, and yeah, so, and then the siding too. So I do adjust the siding very slightly. Um, so you can probably maybe tell the difference. Um, it just goes a little bit more reddish than yellow. So yeah, I thought that it worked better with the roof color and it just looked, it just looked better. Um, so I just went through and, and did all that. But now we have achieved the final um, colors on the outside of the house. So that's very exciting. And yeah, I think it looks a lot more pleasing than the bright red roof and the yellow siding looked before. Anyway, now I'm recoloring the um, uh, inside, <laughs> the flooring again. But yeah, we have this nice parquet flooring. I've been using it like in a lot of my... Um, in a lot of my houses um, of late. I just like it. And I, I didn't use it too much in this house. It's mainly just in the entranceway and the hallway on the second floor. And I use different flooring in the other rooms. But yeah, just I'm using the same wallpaper that was in the original entrance, just recoloring it. Um, and there's the final floor color right there. And yeah, so the study is a new room. And it's, yeah, I mean, that living room before was so ridiculously huge that there's like plenty of room to expand the entrance and add a whole study. Um, and while still maintaining... A decent sized living room. So I thought that it just made sense to do that. Anyway, I kept the parquet and I put that in most of the other rooms. And then in the hallway up here, I added um, the other flooring, the one from the entranceway. So you can see placing that so all of it, it all looks nicely spaced out. And yeah, so that's the flooring situation there in those rooms. And what's happening now? I guess I'm going to get some wallpaper up here. So I do like this wallpaper. I've been using it a fair amount um, in houses in the past year. And yeah, it has like a craftsman kind of style to it, actually. It kind of probably better suits this house than most of the houses I do. So yeah, just kind of using the same wall color as the entranceway. And I'm just putting that all around um, in this hallway. And it's going to appear in many other rooms in the house as well. Um, the trim will, but it'll have a different color. Anyway, yeah, the study gets it too, just with the different um, wallpaper in there. So I kind of went for this um, wallpaper, and I'm just putting that in there. So that's the study and the living room as well. So the living room, I tried to keep the same wallpaper, just to recolor it slightly because it was a little loud. But I kept the same pattern, as you can see. So it kind of has that same, um, that same vibe as the original. And I kept the furniture similar, um, very similar furniture as well. So yeah, you can definitely will be able to tell, hopefully, that it's like, you know, an evolution of the same house. And here I'm recoloring the fireplace. So there you go, got a TV over the fireplace and um, the curtains. I struggled with the curtains a little bit, but I actually used the ones from the ones from um, Seasons because I used them in um, a house recently. I think it was Cornucopia. And I never used these curtains because they have this weird pattern on them, but I discovered there's a different option when you like look at the pre pre-made colors. And so I was able to make them work and I actually use them in all the rooms in the house. So they're kind of nice. Anyway, in the living room, I added more seating. So I added a three wide couch and then a couple chairs. And then this is the study. You have a nice wall of book bookshelves there. There's actually quite a lot of bookshelves throughout this house. You can see there's another one in the living room as well. Actually two in the living room, I think. The dining room actually stays the same. I just rearrange the furniture slightly. So I keep the same bar and the same dining table. I just, I think I rearrange the furniture. Kitchen stays similar. I just switch out all the cabinets so they match because they actually had mismatching cabinets, which kind of annoyed me. And I really wanted to have the sink um, centered under this window. So I ended up um, not doing these funky move objects solutions, but just put the cabinets so that they're organized with a sink in the middle. So there's some gaps on the sides, but I think it looks better with the, with the centered sink. And here just recoloring some trim and stuff on the stairs and the railings and things. And doing some wallpaper in this bedroom for fun right now, even though I'm not going to be doing this bedroom for a little while. But I wanted to use this wallpaper, but annoyingly the there was uh, an odd number of wall pieces. So I had to put this like other one in the middle, which kind of a little bit slightly messed up the vibe, but that's okay. So anyway, that's that's that wallpaper. And yeah, so the kitchen stays similar. So I keep the same cabinets and counters, just change the colors and stuff. So you can see there, it looks a little bit better, but it does stay green, just a more appropriate 
vibe because the floor, I don't even know what the floors are in this kitchen. I mean, they're so bizarre. And then the wallpaper is like all these bright green leaves and stuff. It's just very chaotic. So um, yeah, I, I did change that for sure. Adding some details out here though, got a little electrical box and uh, air conditioner. And yeah, recoloring the light, the light in the kitchen. And oh yeah, here's, we got the different walls in here. So I put the towel that's on the counters on the walls and then put paint on the rest of it. So that's kind of what just goes in here, which I think looks a little better. And then the floor is more neutral color as well. So there we go. So I think that that all kind of helps um, a lot with the kind of chaos that the kitchen had before. And it also looks a lot brighter too, because I feel like the original kitchen looked a little bit dark. So anyway, right now I'm just getting some small appliances and stuff, got a microwave, um, just a few things like that. But Anyway, recoloring this little mudroom area that's kind of right between the kitchen and the living room. So I think it was a better use of space and having the bathroom kind of separate the two areas of the house. And then this way I can incorporate the washer and dryer. So we have, it kind of functions as a laundry room as well. So yeah, the powder room got smaller, but it's not really a huge deal, I don't think. You know, it's still like plenty fine. And yeah, of course it also had the same bright colors that the kitchen had as well. So I don't keep that and I do change it a little bit. I try to keep a similar vibe. So um, the toilet's like the same color, but the walls, the, um, the walls and the floor change a fair amount. But yeah, so there we go. And that's kind of what the bathroom ends up looking like. So yeah, I went for a bit more of a neutral, a neutral look and then the green and yellow, but yeah, I mean, the house is also, like, a lot of these ones that, um, I guess a lot of these houses, they they all have a kind of more dated vibe. I don't know why, just kind of what I do a lot, a lot of the time with these kind of houses, because there's meant to be older houses, so, you know, the bathrooms, one of the bathrooms upstairs, I do choose some bolder colors. I, it's toned down from the original, but I kind of kept it, kind of kept it a little bold, so you'll see that, but Anyway, that's that whole area. So this is the front entrance, which is now much larger. Before it was like tiny and the only way to get to the living room and dining room was through doors. It was like not not open at all. So I switched out the doors for archways, which I feel like makes more sense. And you have a nice more grand archway into the living room. Um, so I feel like that kind of helps make the house flow a little better. Um, and yeah, I'm recoloring the furniture in the living room now because I haven't really fully tackled it yet. And also the rug as well. So just recoloring that. Um, and yeah, I mean, for the most part, this is the furniture that ends up being in this room. I don't really add too much more because I didn't want to overcrowd it. So, you know, I've got a nice plant there next to the fireplace. Um, and yeah, there's your bookshelf in that corner. Lots of bookshelves in this house. And then I think I was going to add something more, but I don't, I don't think I did. So um, yeah, I wanted to add a chess table, but I ended up putting it in the study here. So yeah, the study is a decent size. So you can see we have our chess table there. And I don't know if that chair on the chess table is usable because of the bookshelf, but I liked the way it looked there. So that's what I did. And i um, getting a little side table there in the front entranceway. Um, and what else? I think I was looking for more stuff to put in this room, but oh, there's the yellow horse. Don't worry, it's there. Uh, yeah, so, oh, I put that little cabinet there. So I guess there's lots of little cabinets and stuff in the living room. Um, yeah, so I think that's um, pretty much it. I don't know what more I'm going to add. I guess we'll see. Um, recoloring that. And I think, honestly, I leave it. I just leave it. <laughs> but I don't know. Not not before I think about it a bit. Oh, and then there's a lamp right there. So that's nice. And I got a bit of art on the wall over there. And maybe I put a stereo in, actually. I don't know. If I didn't, I should have. But I didn't, I guess. Um, anyway, the laundry room area, just recoloring the washer dryer. Um, got a little shelf there, which I always put a shelf over the washer dryer for the little decorations, um, decorative items. So there you go. That's that. Um, and yeah, so that's the little, that little area there. Um, and let's see. Oh, I do put a stereo in. There we go. Very nice. So then this is the study. So pretty simple. Um, got a nice computer desk there with a phone and got your chess table and you got bookshelves. And I think that's pretty much it for what's going to be in this room, but I think it's good. Um, you know, it's a nice little skill building room or, you know, it's important to have a computer in the house for the Sims to use. I think there's another one. Um, there will be another one in one of the upstairs bedrooms, I believe. But yeah, it's a nice like office um, room for the house to have. And yeah, it's a nice lamp there. I think that was originally in the living room and some plants and a rug. Um, but that's probably pretty much it for the office, I think. So I don't, I don't know if I do too much more, but yeah, just recoloring the rug here. And yeah, maybe a bit of art on the wall, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. 
um, some little flowers. And yeah, so now we're going to move on to the dining room. So the dining room is the same shape and size as it was originally. Um, it's very long, actually, but it, there's room for a bar, which the house um, had originally. Um, I just kind of, I think I may have reoriented it, though, so it kind of um, faces out like that um, in the corner more so. I don't know, but yeah, the dining rooms are obviously like right off the kitchen, so it kind of flows right right into that like bar dining room area. And here I'm just putting on a different wallpaper. So there we go. I'm putting that on the walls. It matches the color pretty closely to what was in there originally. It just uses the trim that now matches the rest of the house. And there I'm recoloring the bar. And I think all the furniture is recolored at this point. I'm um, getting some curtains in here and some lighting as well, which is nice to have because it's a little dark. I was planning on splitting it, but I was like, eh, I'll leave the floor all wood. I was maybe going to put the, this, this, the brick or stone floor there, but I didn't. I put this like overhead like wine storage with like these glasses that hang down so I thought that was kind of fun made it look a little bit more like a distinct area there with the bar added a bit of art and then also a um a um what do you call that a china cabinet and then a plant in the corner so that livens up the room a little bit and then I got a rug in there as well so yeah, that's pretty much it for the first floor, I think. I don't I don't know if there's too much more I'm going to do down here. Um, so yeah, on the second floor, there's actually a lot of space in the hallway area, um, as you can see. So it's yeah, it's a fairly large hallway area. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to change the stairs here, but I didn't actually end up doing that because I thought maybe I could be clever with constrained floor elevation and like make it like a an uh, like an L-shaped staircase that kind of like starts from the hallway and goes up into the into this little room here, but it was not going to work out. It was going to take up so much space because of the way that it, you know, distorts the ceiling and everything. And, you know, it was a cool idea, but not worth it. The spiral staircase took up way less space. So I did not, I did not do this, but, you know, I tried. So, you know, it's, it's, it's something, it's, it's something I tried, but anyway, I put it back the way I had it before. So I still think it makes more sense to have the spiral staircase in the hallway than in that bedroom. Uh, and I was going to maybe put a second floor living space, just like a secondary little living room up here, but it just was an awkward area and I thought it just kind of didn't make sense. So instead I put a, foos a foosball table up here and I put a bookshelf naturally. So I thought that was kind of, you know, good. So it kind of makes it like a little bonus space, I guess, you know, you got like a foosball table, some more books. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of bookshelves in this house. A bit of art there, um, a rug on the floor, and there's also like a little decorative side table over here with a mirror over it. So yeah, that pretty much um, fills up like the that hallway area with decoration. So you know it doesn't look so empty. And yeah, just getting in a runner over there in that long hallway, and another piece of art there. But yeah, so that's the upstairs landing area. And now I'm just doing some lighting. So yeah, so this bathroom here used to be the same size as the primary bathroom. They were both three by three, but when I added the closet to the bedroom, it made the primary bathroom smaller than this hallway bathroom. So I, I moved the wall over. So this bathroom got smaller, but I think it's fine. Like two by four is pretty normal size for a bathroom. Um, the green stays, the green on the sink and the toilet and the tub, I keep it. So yeah, I know it's a little bold, but I wanted to keep something alive from the original, you know, um, I tried to just make it like fit in a little better. It's like a dated look for sure, but I wanted to make it not egregious, just like, you know, kind of like a dated, like, oh, it's like a dated bathroom, but it's not like bizarre, like the way they do the did the bathrooms originally. So yeah, we got like this kind of yellow tile in here and the green and um, a more neutral tile on the floor though. And yeah, so you can kind of get the idea here of what it's what's going on. But you got a clawfoot tub and a separate shower. And yeah, it kind of all fitted into a pretty small bathroom. Although, to be honest, I feel like now looking at this, I don't think the tub is functional because I think the toilet blocks it. So you may have to flip the tub around, unfortunately. I didn't notice that until now. But anyway, um, that aside, we're moving on now to this bedroom. So this bedroom is meant to be more of like a teen's room. At least that was my vision for it. So it is the larger bedroom. So I thought it would be for the older the older kid. And yeah, so it's kind of got a green and bluish color scheme in here. Lots of woods, as you can see with the wood paneling. Um, and I actually moved the bed to that side of the room. But yeah, decent sized room. It's actually quite large. Um, and it's the same room that was there originally. I just added that closet into it, as you can see. The other bedroom is the one that got much smaller because of the spiral stairs. But 
I still think, well, I mean, honestly, though, the other stairs took up space in it, too, but um, I, I think it all is plenty um, large enough sized. So anyway, right here, I am just uh, editing these chairs, or a chair, over there, and here's where I think I put the um, laptop. Yeah, so there's the laptop in this room um, at the desk, and the other room actually also gets a desk, but no computer, because I thought the house doesn't need three computers, <laughs> but, you know, it, I mean, that would be fine, but yeah, anyway. Um, there's also a lamp there, a bit of a dresser situation, I'm getting some posters in here. Um, so yeah, just doing that, a bit of art on the walls and stuff, you know, that little teddy bear from the store, I think that was from Midnight Hollow, or whatever that, like, toy store was that came with Midnight Hollow. Anyway, also getting in some curtains in here as well, a little bit of ombre there, going from dark to light, which is fun. And yeah, getting a plant there, um, some magazines, um, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, right now I'm just, uh, you know, editing the rug in here as well. So just doing that. Um, and yeah, I think that's almost it for this room. So just, you know, almost done here getting in that stereo, a little stereo in the corner, a plant perhaps. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably it for that bedroom. Just getting in a closet as well. And um and yeah, so there you go. And then I'm going to put some clothes in there as well. So just about to do that. There we go. There's the clothes and recoloring them. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for that bedroom. And what are we going to do next? I guess we'll do the primary bedroom next, which is the same shape and size as it was originally. Wall color stays the same. Just change the trim here, as you can see. It has a nice balcony, which is cool. Um, and yeah, I ended up going for a four poster bed right there. And I rearranged the doors a little bit because I wanted to fit a wardrobe in. And I also got a TV in here um, in front of those windows. The only thing annoying about that TV, which I quite like it, but it has this like giant red sticker on the back with like a skull on it, which is like supposed to be like a, like a warning sticker, you know, because it's an electronic. But I really wish they didn't put that there because then when you place the TV anywhere but against a wall, like if there's a window there, like these windows look out of the front of the house, you can see that like red, that like red sticker like right in the window. I, it bothered me. Um, so what I ended up doing was putting a plant behind the TV so that it blocks the sticker. So, you know, that was my solution. Um, so yeah. And anyway, just getting in a few things in here. Recolor the chair. I think that chair was there originally, um, potentially. But there's a nice rug as well. And then also, oh, getting a clock in the kitchen. That's fun. And what else? Let's see. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, still looking at that sticker. Um, I wanted to put a mirror in here, but I couldn't fit it. Oh yeah, I also removed the walls on these little like weird like indents, and I put bookshelves, built-in bookshelves in there. So I thought that was kind of a fun, a fun look there. So I thought that was nice. You can still see the red sticker. Um, so I was looking for a plant that would work. I think I'd used that one there. Yeah. So I put the plant behind the TV, and also brought the TV a little closer to the bed, which I thought was nice since it was kind of would have been kind of far. Um, but anyway, we also have a closet there as well. And now we're going to do the bathroom. So the bathroom is actually a little bigger than it used to be because I made it larger to compensate for the closet. Um, it was like a very beige kind of bathroom. So I kind of kept that same theme. So it is very like neutral colored, um, also a bit dated looking as well. But yeah, you got um, got these cabinets in here, got the clawfoot tub, the standing shower, you know, all the, all the classics. Um, and this kind of beige tile on the floors and on the walls. Um, so there you go. That's the um, counter there with the double sinks. Got some mirrors in there, some lights to go over them, and also some hand towels as well um, for each sink and some other towels. The usual decorations that I that I put um, everywhere. So just doing that. Also, I change out the flooring as well. So I do not keep this that other flooring. Um, though maybe the other flooring actually might have looked a little better, but that's all right. Anyway, so that is pretty much it for that. I think that's, oh, we have one more bedroom. That's right. So this bedroom over here is more of like a kid's room. It's at least the idea. Um, so I got a single bed in here, um, which I am now about to switch out or recolor actually. Um, yeah, this room is lacking a little bit in natural light. It feels a little darker because there's only that one front window because of the roof line of the front porch roof, but that's fine. You got a nice large window there on the side at least. Um, yeah, and this room is still pretty big, even though I made it much smaller. I mean, the 
it's a single, it only has a single bed in here. So there's like plenty of room. It's like a five by five room. Um, so I didn't think it was a huge deal. And here you can see getting in that desk I was talking about. So yeah, just like a little desk in here. I didn't put a computer though. So um, just like a little like, I don't know, decorative workspace, I guess. Cause I don't think Sims really do much with desks unless there's a computer on it. So yeah, um, got a little pens and pencils though, and some toys in here and also a nice little, um, pin board there on the wall as well for decoration a little pirate's toy chest it's kind of like a, a nautical vibe in here a little bit with the um the toy chest and then also the bedspread there as well um so yeah and also got some posters in here um, putting those around and recoloring these curtains as well um getting those in so yeah i think that's pretty much it gonna get a rug in here um it's kind of the last thing but that should be the second floor complete, I believe. Um, and then we're going to move on to the third floor, which is just that one little room, pretty much, I think. So let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. So this room is unfurnished in the original house. There's just nothing up here at all. So I decided to make it like a little bonus space. Um, so there's going to be um, there's going to be an art easel up here. So I'm just doing that right now. And then also a little drafting table. So it's kind of like a little artist space, I guess, which I thought was kind of fun. So yeah, I got an art easel, a little, oh, I was gonna put the train set, but I did not. A little drafting table up here. Um, be careful not to fall down the spiral stairs because there is no railing, just like a hole in the floor. So a little sketchy there, but you know, it should be fine. Um, and then recoloring that uh, plant there as well. So yeah, that is pretty much that. Um, and then we're gonna do the outside landscaping and stuff. So, um, you know, recoloring these little lamps, got a little mat on the floor, a little plant and stuff, also getting some lights down the sides there, um, some porch lights and stuff as well. And yeah, you know, just outdoor lighting. I'm gonna get like a bit of, um, a little bit of outdoor furniture, but mainly gonna be landscaping stuff here. So I do adjust the stone a little bit. I guess. So there's a slightly different stone. Um, and I kind of apply that to the whole house um, and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. And I don't know when I add, when I decide to add a back door out to that little area, which might be soon. Oh yeah, here we go. So I thought, why not just have like a way to get to the backyard from the carport. So I put, um, which I guess you could just walk around, but you know, I thought it was... <laughs> interesting just to have a little door there so i just put a little another little door there so there you go um and yeah then we have a little grill on the back porch um a little outdoor eating area which i thought would be nice um so there you go a fire pit in the backyard as well and yeah i mean that's really it for the outdoor furniture so the rest of the video is going to be landscaping so i'm just going to get in a bunch of plants all the usual stuff all the usual suspects that i put on um put on all my houses. So yeah, just got getting the nice little bushes and flowers, some rocks in the backyard there. So that's fun. And moving around to the front here. Oh, I got some different colors though. I got some blue flowers. That's fun. Um, but yeah, lots of plants and stuff kind of going around here, um, around the side there. Um, and actually had a little tree in the front yard kind of, oh yeah. Do I change that wall? I actually don't know. I think I don't, I think I keep it that wall and like it was hard because like none of the wall textures really looked that good on it um so i i kind of just left it you know i tried recoloring it but it didn't really work out so oh well anyway you can see there's a tree now there kind of in the middle of the yard which i thought kind of filled it in nicely and getting in a few more plants and stuff i put a couple of trees and i was the driveway because i thought that would be kind of dramatic and fancy also integrated the mailbox into the stone wall as well Got some more plants and stuff in here, just kind of going around the side of the house as well. Um, I did the dirt terrain paint under the foundation, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, um, losing my voice a little bit here as we near the end. Um, yeah, and just like, oh, yeah, just doing this terrain paint there, um, getting it kind of under the under all the plants and stuff. But we're nearing the end. Um, we got about a couple minutes left, maybe you know, less than a minute or about a minute, I don't know, whatever. Um, so if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. There's some screenshots coming up, so some before and after screenshots you can check out. Um, you can get an idea of what the house looked like before and after. Um, and yeah, as always, I love to hear your feedback in the comments, and there will be um, a link in the description below where you can download the house and add it to your own game. But yeah, right now we're just doing the final touches here. Got a little light out there. A little bit of terrain paint here underneath the wall um, and kind of around the 
on the edges of the pathways and the driveway and stuff. Also had a car in here as well. It's kind of a final touch. And I put that little um, seat there on the front porch that was actually on the house originally, on the front porch originally. And then I colored inside all these columns with black paint. But anyway, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time.